Jim Rosenfield Jr. in the Al Cerrone. Number 40 is Ray Lee. The second row, the hometowner, Steve Humphrey in the number seven, and Lenny Ellis in the number 41. Row number three, former champion Bruce Gilmer Taylor in the number 47 out of Rochester, the reigning Leeson-sponsored car. And in the Kevin Avenue, Kevin Avenue Floral Company, number 35, from Wakefield is Billy Matson. The fourth row, feature winner last Saturday night, we're driving the home service, number six, three-time defending track champion, Norm Holden, and alongside one feature win on the season to his credit from Hudson, New Hampshire, and the steward and son Ford is Dave Dion in car number 29. Row number five from Westport, and the Al Cerro number 30 is Jimmy Wilkins, and alongside in the Roly Limblad number 48, three-time feature winner, out of Hanover, Leo Clary. The sixth row, driving car number 25, Pete Schwarz, and in car number 82 is Dave Shaw. Slated to go scratch on the field, the number 64 of Dave Gallup. Looking for the start. Green flag is down. They're underway. Ray Lee in the number 40 takes the lead from the number 7 is Steve Humphrey. The number 41, Lenny Ellis, rides in third. Billy Matson is fourth in the number 35. Norm Holden up to sixth with car number six, followed by the number 30 of Johnny Tripp. Dave Dion and the number 48 of Leo Clary. Dion looks to the inside of Peach Wars. Dion and the inside lane trying to move up now on the number 30 being driven by Jimmy Wilkins. <laughs> Dion's got the spot, but they're in heavy traffic as they come down for the halfway. Halfway marker is down. Norm Holden high, coming out of turn number four. Gives Dion moved the roof up. Holden again is high, but comes back in three. Ray Lee starting to trail a little bit of smoke out of the rear of the number 40. Caution flag down. Dave Dion in trouble. The number 29 spins in turn number two. Dave Dion in trouble. Field in shape. Green flag is down. Ray Lee now really starting to puff a lot of smoke out of the number 40. Laps continuing to tick off. It's Lee Humphrey, one, two. Billy Matson third in the number 35, followed by Lenny Ellis and Bruce Gomer Taylor. Two lap markers down. And down the back stretch, Steve Humphrey on the inside. White flag is waving. It's Humphrey on top. Really in second. Billy Matson is third. Humphrey in for the win.
Terry Cheatham. Run number two, inside lane, the hometowner from Seekonk. In the number seven, Steve Humphrey. And outside the second row, starting fourth on the field from a cushionet. In the number 41 is Lenny Ellis. Three rows back, inside lane, driving the Raynham Leasing Corp. Number 47, out of Rochester, is Bruce Gomer Taylor. And starting outside the third row, in the Kenyon Avenue Floral Company, number 35, from Wakefield, is Billy Matson. Four rows back, inside lane, to the insulation, number 18, out of Westport, Johnny Tripp. And starting alongside Tripp, eight in the lineup, driving the Garvey Oldsmobile GMC, number 27, out of Pawtucket, Joey Cerullo. Run number five, inside lane, ninth in the starting order. He won the opener. He's been shut out of victory lane since April. He was absent last Saturday night. He returns tonight in hopes of a feature victory from Hudson, New Hampshire, in the Stewart and Sons Ford, number 29, Dave Dion. And starting alongside Dion, driving the T. Perry and Son, construction number four, out of Berkeley, Tex Berry, Jr. Row number six on the inside lane, second generation driver out of Middleborough, Massachusetts, in the number 44, Jimmy Rosenfield. And a driver whose win streak stopped at three straight last Saturday night as Norm Holden picked up the feature victory. The ageless veteran from Hanover, Massachusetts, the current point standing leader in the number 48, Leo Clary. Seven rows back, inside lane, lucky number 13, starting position, goes to the number 28 of Roger Godin. And starting 14th on the field, in the number 25, from Framingham, is Pete Schwarz. Row number eight, inside lane, first Saturday night appearance of the season. Monadnock Speedway champion, looking for the feature victory here tonight. Hailing from Worcester in the number two, Jimmy McCallum. And the man who finally broke his string of jinxes here at the Seekong Speedway last Saturday night. He's taken home the track championship honors for the past three seasons. He's got one feature win to his credit. He'd like to make him back-to-back -back tonight. Driving the home service center number six from Warwick, Rhode Island, Storm and Norman Holden. Nine rows back, inside lane, from Warwick, Rhode Island, in the number 24, Steve Sprague. And starting 18th, from Westport, in the Al Cerrone sponsored machine, the veteran, Jimmy Wilkins. Row number 10, in the MS Auto Parts out of Halifax, number 77, Roy Hatella. And starting 20th, driving LaJoy's Auto Wrecking number 72, all the way from South Norwalk, Connecticut, Tom Akori. 11th row, inside lane, 21st in the starting lineup. Driving the number 32 is George Gould, and alongside in the Al Cerrone, Ronnie Pond number 40 from Attleboro, Ray Lee. Row number 12. The Dapper Dan's Restaurant, number 17, hailing from Swansea, Steve Gustafson, and starting 24th in car number 64 is Dave Gallup. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your starting lineup for tonight's 30-lap Pro Stock feature event. Next Saturday, the distance increases to 50 laps. The feature purse, $18,000 with $5,000 to win, $2,500 in 9 to 1 bonuses, $500 in Monadnock Speedway bonuses. The lights are out, field in shape, two by two order. Eric Besma picks up the speed in four, they bring it down, green and they're underway. Larry Cheatham in the number nine, out in front. He sets the pace. 
Cheatham in the top spot. Lenny Ellis rides in second. Besma is third. Billy Matson rides in fourth. Steve Humphrey works the inside groove. He takes over third, coming out of four. It's Larry Cheatham in command. Lenny Ellis riding in that second spot. Humphrey is third. Joey Cirillo now up to fourth. Cheatham, Ellis, Humphrey, Cirillo, and Bruce Gomer Taylor is fifth. Still Larry Cheatham on top. Ellis right behind, inches away. In third, Steve Humphrey. Cerullo is fourth. Johnny Tripp, the number 18, on the move. Tripp on the inside of Taylor. Watch the action. They play tight enough in three and four. Steve Humphrey on the inside of the number 41 of Lenny Ellis. Side by side in the one and two. Humphrey's got the spot. It's Cheatham, Humphrey. Ellis, Cirillo, one, two, three, and four. Johnny Tripp in the number 18. Now riding in fifth. Clary in trouble. Look out. Leo Clary in the number 48. Got spun going in to turn number two. He went around and it developed into a seven car chain reaction. Clary is running. Let's see if he hits pit side. No, he bypasses, but he's got a problem. Body is down on the front right tire and Clary will have to go in. The field virtually at a stop. Last Saturday night's feature winner, Norm Holden, also involved in the melee. Pete Schwarz, he's up there and a tough break. Larry Cheatham sets the pace. Humphrey alongside. Two by two, they come down to the stripe. Green is down there, underway. <laughs> On the restart, Larry Cheatham out in front. Steve Humphrey, Lenny Ellis right behind. Johnny Tripp in the number 18, rides in the fourth spot. The Lion, Leo Clary, working his way through the pack. Driving the number one is Wayne Dion. Lenny Ellis has taken over the lead. On lap number 10, Lenny Ellis has moved out in front. Tripp is in second spot. It's Ellis, Tripp, Taylor, one, two, three. Billy Matson is fourth, Steve Humphrey is fifth. Leo Clary on the inside of Dave Dion. Clary on the move in the inside lane. It's still Lenny Ellis in command. Tripp and Taylor second. Halfway marker is down. Halfway, 15 down, 15 to go. Leo Clary up to seventh. Down the back stretch. Leo Clary on the move. Clary in seventh spot. Clary continues to work the outside lane. In the three and four, he stays alongside Rosenfield. Clary now in the lap traffic. Drops down low, squeezes underneath.
Two cars in two. Two cars coming together down in that second turn area. The number 72 of Tom McCory and the number 28 of Roger Godin getting together in that second turn area. And that brings out the question for the second time. Jimmy Rosenfield, the number 44. We could go green this time around. They kick it up in three. Green unfolds, they're underway. Clary goes to the outside. It's Ellis on top. Trip. Taylor. One more time. Leo looks to the outside. And we're into the countdown. Ten laps to go. Ten to go. Down the back shoot and in the three and four. Clary in the outside lane. Clary trying to go all the way. He races alongside Gomer Taylor. Down the back chute, he's got third position. Dave Dion starts to come on. Dion also looking to the outside. Dion follows Clary down the back chute. It's Lenny Ellis, Johnny Tripp, Leo Clary, Dave Dion, one, two, three, and four. Clary, one more time, tries the outside lane. Dion looks underneath. Clary forced to the high groove. Dion right with him. They go to the outside of Johnny Tripp. Clary's got the spot as he comes out of four. Clary in motion. Time starting to run out. Two laps to go. Two lap marker is down. Lenny Ellis in command. He'll have the lead on the white flag lap. Dion scuffs the wall on the home stretch. Checkered flag waving. Lenny Ellis in for the win. Clary, second. We won't even call that one for you, ladies and gentlemen. All we'll tell you is Lenny Ellis went across the stripe first. The number 18 of Johnny Trent got crossed up. He tagged Clary. Clary catapulted across the line. And then you've got a jam session of about one, two, three, four, five cars. Track ambulance crew is on the scene. And you talk about feature finishes. We will go for the official's decision. <clears throat> Dave Dion has climbed out of his car. How about a big hand for Dion? David, a tough break.
The cars involved, the number four, Texbury Jr. The number 29, Dave Dion. The number 35 of Billy Matson, And the number 18 of Johnny Tripp. And car number 32 of George Gould. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, in victory lane, the number 41, Lenny Ellis. Victory photos being tried, taken tracks.